what is going the fuck on y'all so <laughs> it's season four episode 18 18 and 19 look man every time i come back from a weekend it always feels like it's been a long minute since i popped like did an episode uh i don't know if that's just me it just always feels like it's been a while because of that so um yeah, I, I, I honestly don't. I honestly don't know, to be honest with you. I forgot to put my earrings in, so excuse me while I put these in. But um, basically, I was supposed to have two guests scheduled for today, but one guest just completely was, like, not responding. You know what I'm saying? Didn't even respond to, like, the post or anything like that. So, um, I mean, shit happens, I guess. You know, welcome to the world of podcasting, man. You see the weirdest shit happen. And you see people doing weird shit. <laughs> um, but today, we're going to go ahead and bring on our second guest of the night, who is now our only guest of the night. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and invite her on now. All right, so sent the inv- oh shit, so sent the invite, and now we just we just gonna play the waiting game, yeah, yeah, okay. So yeah, now we just gonna play the waiting game, see see what pops off from this, and yeah, um, so to be a hundred percent with y'all, especially y'all that are starting uh podcasting and stuff like that, where you get on, you know, random guests and such. If they blow you off like that, like if they just stop responding or like just cancel last minute, you know, shit like that, I feel like deep down they're really not about it. They really don't want to be on a podcast. It's just kind of saying it, just say it for some reason because, you know, people people do weird shit sometimes, you know, and that's just the way it is. But all in all, I'm going to tell you, it just means that they're not for real about it. They're not for real down with it. And it's worse in my case because what? Look at me. I'm a male and I do podcasting. What do most male podcasters do? Well, they shit on women. They talk shit about women. And they, they like, purposely try to get that vibe going because they think that's going to get them views. Look, that's not how I roll here. That's not how I do shit. You know what I'm saying? I vibe with everybody that I bring on here. We have a good-ass time. We get some good combos going. And at the end of the day, we we network. You know what I'm saying? I'm cool with 90% of the guests I've brought on on each ep- episode. That's including from season one all the way to now. 90%. The other 10% um, shit happens. You know what I'm saying? But majority of them, obviously. I'm still cool with to this day. You know? Like, you could look up the guests I had on previously, and you can still see them in my followers list where I'm following them, and they're following me, vice versa. They still tap in from time to time. You know, it's cool. And that's the type of vibe I look for. You know what I'm saying? Network friendships. Fuck with it. Fuck with it. Friendships from around the damn country. This, I love it. That's what I, That's the one main thing I love about podcasting is it's, it's great for me to network. It allows me to network freely. You know what I'm saying? Without having to really, like, reach out like that. Like, I'm still reach out, you know, obviously to get them on the podcast. But it's not like... I have to go place and do this and do all that and the third, the extra shit just to go and network. There's a good way to do it. <laughs> and I love it. I love it. And I love the topics I talk about, man. Like, uh, whoo, that's just strong. Like, uh, that's actually really good. Strong but good. <laughs> like, uh, what was I going to say? I have the topic as relationships and vibes, right? The whole horror thing was cool i had some guests pop on for that and say they say you know get conversations going but it's not as popular as relationships and vibes so i feel like that's just like i don't know that's just like the main topic of my shit is all that you know what i'm saying i've always liked talking about it you know back when i was in high school kid i would constantly worry about shit like that you know so i just feel like overall it's a good topic for me to get into um 
I, I wouldn't say I studied it, but like I definitely focused on this type of shit majority of my high school career and even after, you know, just trying to be good with it, trying to be, trying to, you know, be more uh, intelligent with it, you know, understand it more because it's a very complex thing. Relationships, by the way people have relationships, the way people vibe, it's, it's super complex. And I feel like no one's going to fully understand it, but you can understand a good amount of it to where you know what situations you find yourself in type of deal, if that makes sense. So that's where I wanted to be with it, you know. Definitely I could have focused on, you know, a lot better things, but for some reason that's just what caught my mind and that's just what I wanted to be aware of. I wanted to be aware of that type of shit, you know. Mainly for my own personal reasons, so, you know, so I didn't get cheated on again or, like, I didn't get played again. And I promise you, once I started learning more shit about it, that happened less and less. So... You want that you want that shit to stop happening to you. Focus on focus on understanding it more. You know, understanding it more. Fuck yeah. Yeah. That's really the that's really that's really it. Just focus on understanding it more, learning more about it. Understand as like a, if you're a dude, understand how females are type of dude. You know, obviously you have different types of females, but understand it. Understand what flirting is, all this other shit, you know. And that's a, that's the biggest thing. Dudes have a hard time figuring out when a female is flirting or when she's just being nice. That's what gets y'all a lot. That's what gets y'all a lot. And that's kind of the same thing with females. Y'all have a hard understanding of when a dude's actually flirting or they're just being a gentleman. Some some mamas just raised, you know, raised gentlemen. You know what I'm saying? So, mm -hmm. there's that. That really is sweet but good. Y'all ever tried to... Watermelon Malibu. I'm kind of iffy about it because it's real strong, but it's, it's sweet. I like it, though. It's a good little sweet aftertaste. <laughs> so right now, we're just waiting for the guests to pop in. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be a little bit. It's already seven minutes down, so I can't really time it on an exact, you know, zero, zero, and then go to an hour. Like, that's kind of hard. Because obviously, I'm, sitting, I'm here, you know, waiting for the guests to pop in and get get ready and all that good shit. Um, but I just want to say yet again that I appreciate each and every guest that has popped on here today, or not today, but ever, and uh, give me a cool vibe, give me a cool experience uh, with podcasting, you know. Where I'm at right now, social media-wise, podcast-wise, I never thought I would actually be here. So it's cool. I love it. I love it. I've got to interview some of the coolest fucking people. You know what I'm saying? I had to interview people I never thought I would interview, ever. You know, ever in my fucking life. And I love that. I love that experience. It is It is truly remarkable. <laughs> it really is. As far as a dream, a dream guest for myself. I really don't like throwing names, man. I really don't. Not on podcast. I'd rather do it like, you know, I don't know. It's just something about saying names and shit on podcasting. That's not about the guest type of shit. Look, I'm going a, I'm to a drop my dream guest later on. And uh, we're gonna, that, that'll be that. That'll be that. Because it's like if that happens, uh, if, that, if that episode ever happens, I'm going to be lost for words. But I'm gonna give y'all a big, a big, big hint. She is a Latin artist. Didn't start out that way. She's from Inglewood. And yeah, <laughs> I feel like that's a big hint right there already. She's from Inglewood, California. Yeah, I can't say any more hints because that'll be just a, a huge fucking give giveaway. She's a Latin artist who wasn't always a Latin artist, and. Or not like not always made like you know Latin music like reggaeton corridos and stuff like that. Like she started making pop music, and she's from Inglewood. I'm gonna just leave it at that. I'm gonna leave it at that. And she's my homie Michael's number one fucking crush. There we go. <laughs> and some of y'all know Michael from when I used to do podcasting with him and my boy, uh, my boy T Ramp. But now we're here, so. And damn, 
to kind of take along. So we is just vibing out right now. But yeah, I have I have a list of of guests that I would love to have on. A good list of guests. But as far as the number one dream guest, yeah. I'm a, I'm gonna keep that one ahead for a while. For a little bit at least. Yeah. Mostly because she probably won't even give it the time of day to look at it. You know what I'm saying? That's how that's how up there. <laughs> so It would be a cool, a cool episode, though. I do feel like I'd be stuttering a lot, just, just off of being baffled, just off of being baffled. Like, I, like not on some fanboy shit. Like, I would be baffled if that happened, because I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you a little bit. Like, back in high school, back when I was in school, back when I was, you know, young, I never pictured myself in this position, doing podcasts, interviewing the coolest fucking people. Talking to them, conversating with them, everything. You know what I'm saying? And I've interviewed a lot of special guests where I never thought I would have them on. So it's just like a really cool experience. You know what I'm saying? So for those of you that want to get into podcasting, I, I'm i telling you, that is one of the greatest feelings right there. Is being able to reach out, reach out to someone you really want to have on. And they reach out back saying, hell yeah, I'm down. That's a real one. That's a real one celebrity right there. Real shit. Real shit. Real fucking one. And I had two of those. I had two of those so far. I'm only on season four and I've only had two celebrities on here. A lot of people wouldn't count the first one. But it, it, she's very well known in the boxing world. So uh try telling her that. You know what I'm saying? And she she one of the homies. So... Fuck y'all if you don't agree with me. <laughs> and then the other one, obviously, was in the UFC, did her thing there. And she's fighting in one of my favorite UFC fighters uh promotion. So definitely a celebrity. And it's just the fact that she took time out of her day to be on, you know, a little podcast, a little virtual podcast like this, man. I love it. I love that type of shit. And there's nothing like when you like see the follow, you know, like when they follow you and you're like, oh damn, <laughs> yeah. I had I I had my fanboy moments, and you know what it is, what it is. Yes, I believe celebrities are people, but it's cool to have, you know, to see them recognizing you type deal. It's cool. I love it, and that's why I want to continue doing this shit. You know, especially because, you know. The second special guest was over here. Like you, you can like I see you doing a lot of good things with this shit. So we gonna keep this going. We definitely that is definite. I'm not gonna stop till I'm fucking old, wrinkly, and I can't fucking conversate no more. How about that? How about that? And that's and that's what it is. Uh, I just got a message from the guest that she's coming on soon. So. Cool, cool, cool. So it's funny because I know like they're doing the last, you know, they're doing their makeup again. They're doing their thing to make sure they look good on the camera. I don't blame them. I do the same thing, man. Make sure my hair is good. Make sure, you know, I didn't even notice my, I didn't have my, my fucking earrings in until I started recording. So, you know, it is what it is. But I love it. I love this, this game. Podcasting is, I love it. And I love getting recognized for it. You know, I love it. Cause I've always been, I've always been an outgoing character. I've always been outgoing. I've always loved conversating about shit, even if it was deep shit. Just having deep conversations. I have deep conversations about anything except politics. I can't really talk politics. I don't feel like I'm a. I don't feel like I'm intellectually there when it comes to politics. So, we're not gonna go there. <laughs> We're not. I'll I'll leave that to to the other people. I'll leave that to those that are that are really into that shit. <sighs> shit hit smooth. And yes, I'm wearing a Raiders jersey. They're playing like shit. I know some of y'all are like, yeah, that's not no that's that's as if that's not a regular thing, they're playing like shit. No, you know. I'm a fan, man. 
I'm a silver and black fan. Man. It's not you're not gonna get rid of that out of me. You feel me? You're not. They could be the the worst fucking team in the NFL, and I'll still be with. Them. I'll just be a disappointed fan. I'll be a pissed off fan. There we go. On the other hand, though, NBA Celtics on top are gonna be on top. That is, yeah, that's my team, Celtics, Boston Celtics. I know Derek White shaving his head. <laughs> it's a little, little crazy. It's a little crazy, but damn, she gonna come up in here? What's the move? What are we doing? What is we doing? My room is really pimped out though. I have my hats and wear the flags. <coughs> Bless me. <coughs> Bless me. It's that stuff right there. I'm telling you. you. Got my posters back there. I'm, I'm trying to figure out what I should add more. What y'all think? What y'all think I should add to the to the wall? Cause I'm, I'm really trying to think what else I should add to it. And yes, that's my painting. I know it looks like shit, but I did it, so. Fuck y'all. Yeah. <laughs> I never said I was an artist, bro. Like, crazy. Um, I'm interested to hear what this guy has to say, though. As far as relationship vibes and stuff. You know what's funny is I, the way I got in contact with her, right, is on TikTok, they do these rate shits, right, where they rate how somebody looks and they rate the outfits. They rate on that type of stuff. And... I think it's corny to be honest with you. I think it is. But at the same time, I'm the same person that's like, shit, I'm curious what they're about to say. And she was one of the ones that did that. So, oh yeah. And here she is. Hey. Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, I can hear you perfectly. Go ahead, introduce yourself. I'm Serenity. I'm 21. Um, I'm model. I am okay. getting into acting. Uh, what else? <laughs> <laughs> I live in Pittsburgh, PA. Pittsburgh. I actually have family in Pittsburgh. Well, Conway. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, where I don't know how at? far. I don't know. You said what? I said, where do you stay, Cali? No, I'm in Texas. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm like close to Arizona, like very best part of Texas. But I, um, I want to move to Texas, actually. Houston. Okay, I'm about to say, you got to pick the right spot in Texas. Mm -hmm. Houston's good. Houston's yeah. good. If you would have said, like, like Katy, Texas, I would have been like... I never even heard of that. Oh, El pa have you heard of El Paso? No, we heard of Dallas and Houston. Not San Antonio? <laughs> Actually, yeah, I heard of that before. I heard of that before. Okay. What makes you want to move to Texas? I went down there in August, and I liked it. Like, it was hot, though. Definitely hot. Definitely hot. I'm one of those people I'd rather fuck with hot weather than cold weather. Me too. Me too. I, oh no. And it's funny, be, it's funny because I was born and raised in Colorado and it's like Colorado's known for being cold and shit. <laughs> so, you got tired got, of that. Or huh? I said you must got tired of the coldness. I've always been, you know. Especially because like I don't have as much meat on my bones type of deal. I'm kind of I'm kind of slim, so yeah, nah. Mm. <laughs> Got to layer up. But I did get a, uh, you know, the whole modeling thing. I got that vibe from you, and I, I fuck with it. That's pretty really? cool. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. What uh, what got you into the whole modeling thing? Um, ever since I was younger, like I would see a mirror and I'll be just looking at myself or something, or I'll just always be taking <laughs> pictures or always like. I don't know. So I was like, yeah, I do that. I do that same shit, and people call me like a fuck boy, pretty boy, or like, like you got light skin. You so full of yourself. Mm. Yeah, they say I have like light skin energy. I'm, like, what the fuck, <laughs> I'm a lighter skinned Latino, but like, I, I don't think it's like that, you know. No, I don't know. Do I give you? Do I give you light skin vibe? Not really. Okay. Okay, cool. So we already debunked that. We're good. Yeah, now. that's that's out of the way. Good. Yeah. What's your what's your ethnicity? Black. Black. Mm-hmm. I actually huh. never asked my mom. Like honestly, like, what else is there? But yeah. Because I feel like you got a mixture to you. Like you, 
not like not a hundred percent blood. Like you got a mixture too. What do you think it is? Could be anything, honestly. It could be some like it could be a Latin nationality. It could be like Dominican, you know, Cuban. I get Indian a lot or something. Could be Indian. Yeah. I wouldn't say like hundred percent Indian. And someone told you hundred percent Indian. They yeah, I get that a lot. The oh, fuck, you should. You know how to do the accent? How do you talk? I'm not gonna ever do that, bro. <laughs> Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna I don't get. know. So I don't really know how they. I, I, you know what? I don't either. I, <laughs> I do, but I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna yeah. get that. Fuck that. You know, mm. they give me my tech support. I don't need that shit going down the drain now. <laughs> Fuck that, bro. Nah. They gonna pull that shit up fast. Bro, next time I have a computer issue, then they're not gonna fix it. Because I made the voice on a podcast. You know what I'm saying? Crazy. Yeah. Now, what about yeah. the act? What got you into to acting? I don't know. I feel like I was always dramatic. Or like, <laughs> I just had that personality for it. What do you mean by dramatic? Well, I don't know how to explain it. Like, like my facial expressions and stuff like that. Okay, I can see that. Yeah, I've always been like... I, I can see that. I thought you meant like dramatic, like, like situations happen and you just go like over, over the line. I mean, <laughs> oh, no. I'm probably the opposite of that. Yeah, you give me like very chill vibes. I don't, I don't, you don't give me like no crazy vibes. Or nothing. That's yeah, good. Until. Until what? <laughs> <laughs> Until I have a reason not to be. So, like, what's an example of that? Like, if they call you a name or something? I don't think that will bother me. It have to be something over, like, over. Like. I feel you. What about like uh, TikTok weird, hateful comments? Because that's, that's how I met you was on TikTok, right? You yeah, doing you did. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but like, what if it was like weird comments? Because that happens. It's TikTok. People yeah. do that. Trolls everywhere. But yeah. yeah, that happens a lot to me. I just ignore it for real, or try to. Yeah. At least. I feel like you make a face at it, and then you go on to the whatever. Or I just person. make, or I'll make a joke about it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I know for I don't know I don't know if it's for acting, but I know for modeling they really look for like tall females. I don't really know why. Mm-hmm. But like, are you on the on the taller side of, of females? Not actually, no. And I'm five seven, five eight. So tall. Actually, I think the average is like five eight. But they look for like five nine, five ten. I, I at least they look like one like, way and stuff. Like I feel that. like they look for like WNBA height. And like they want a female <laughs> that's motherfucking six four. Like yeah, fuck? long legs, long arms. Like, yeah, because I have a homegirl that's doing modeling too, but she. Is, she gets denied for a lot of gigs just because she's short, mm, and she's yeah. like, You're, you know, she's like five eight. Yeah, I, and I thought I was tall. Like I thought I was a tall girl. I said I would say so. I mean, then again, I'm five six. Wait, so. I was about to say. <laughs> no, I'm five, I was yeah. about to say. Wait, how tall are you? Five six. Five, six. Yeah, five six. How old are you? Twenty one. How, how old do I look? Like 18. 18? 18. Did you think I was 18? Like, you thought I was 18 like from the get-go? No, when I check, mm, probably, yeah, 19. <laughs> I, I'll take that answer because that means I'm not aging. So. Yeah, no. Uh-uh. Means I'm not sure. aging. But then that means when you probably first met me, you probably like, man, this motherfucker young. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> what? Go back to school. Like, nah, I'm not <laughs> cool. What you mean? Like, Mm-mm. That's crazy. I really thought she was younger than that. You gonna ask my zodiac sign next? I feel now. I, feel I like, am. What's your What's your sign? Aqu- I'm an Aquaman. Aquarius. Yeah. Mm. Aquaman. That's what I tell people because I'm gonna be real. When it comes to zodiac signs, I think people look at that too damn much. Especially when they look for like a significant other, like it's it's ridiculous. So that's crazy. If, crazy. I used to like base my life off of that shit. Like I would look at my signs every day no. and why, see how why, my why? day's gonna go. What made you do that? I don't know. It was in a point of time I was really into that. Like yeah. actually, I was heartbroken and I was wondering why. That's what I feel like a lot of people do. <laughs> like they get heartbroken. They're like, "What the fuck was this dude's sign? Scorpio." What was he okay. saying? What was he thinking? I, I like, can't talk to Scorpios no more. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, Sagittarius for me. Mm-mm. Sagittarius. But when I tell people Aquaman and they figure out it's Aquarius, they give me either a stank face 
or they're like, mm, y'all are all right. I don't think I ever talked to one. I might might have, but mm. I've probably talked to every zodiac sign. You just not know. Just you just don't never know. Because I don't focus on it. Yeah, I, I'm just like whatever. If yeah. they're petty, they're petty. If they're cool, they cool. Type but of if I'm like in a conversation with someone, I don't really ask that. No. Okay. Good. Okay. Maybe. You got to double check. Do you ask that? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Like, you could be at a bar or lounge or hookah lounge, whatever the fuck, and, you know, it just kind of comes up. Like, hmm, what's your Zodiac sign? Oh, no. Nah. <laughs> I would probably text it like, hmm, wait, what's your sign? I don't, I don't think I would ask in person. Type of thing. But, yeah. I've never been into it. I've never looked at it like that either. Like, I know mine, you know, the basic shits, but I don't know anybody else's. Uh-huh. So, if you're I like, I'm a Virgo, I'm like, okay, cool. <laughs> yeah actually i would ask that person because i would go and see yeah i do ask that so you do so you somewhat trust the whole zodiac sign shit like somewhat on some type yeah, of i don't base my no nah, i just i'm curious i don't know so like when you're looking for like a significant other that's not like a no red flag green flag bullshit no okay that's good i gotta see the way you act first though yeah that's what I'm saying. Like, they could be, like, a, the chill sign, but then be fucking nutty, you know? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> they could be a fucking serial killer, but have a dope Zodiac sign. Yeah. That's what I don't understand. Yeah, I don't think it matters. No? Nah. What about um? What about height? Is that, like, a big thing for you? Because, yeah. Because for me, I'm tall, I feel like. Which is understandable. Like, you know, like that's, that's, like, a for sure thing, or, like, that's, like, a preference. Cause those two you just are, can't be like way shorter than me. Like <laughs> define way shorter, because it's probably dudes that are way fucking shorter. Um, to the point where I have to like bend down and do shit. Uh, okay, but like I don't know what I don't know what size that is. Honestly, whatever size that is, whatever five, height. So if you're five eight, that's probably like five four. <laughs> yeah, five four and, and yeah. lower. But then again, like. So let's say that five four dude has like the dope personality, like you click with him. You don't know what's hot yet because y'all sitting down, <laughs> but y'all are vibing. <laughs> y'all clicking, and then he stands up, and then you're like, "Fuck, this motherfucker's short." Are you gonna like cut it off right there? Or are you gonna give it a chance? I'll probably see what it's sitting for. I see. I can respect that. If I'm I yeah, if I'm feeling his vibe, then I'll see. I could respect. I could, I could look past that, maybe. I could respect that, especially if they say it with confidence, like, "Yeah, I'm short. I'm a short king." Yeah. Versus, like, uh, "I'm kind of short." I don't know. Then you're like, "Yeah, yeah you are." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. I see. I see that. I feel like height. Okay, that's one thing. But like, I feel like when you're laying down, that really don't fucking matter. <laughs> or when you said no, you're right. You're right. But when I you say that not when you walk in with each other. That's what I'm saying. I say that not because I'm short, but because that's fact. Like, if you're laying down, it don't really fucking matter. All right. So, what do you what do you like? You like shorter females, like shorter than you? Not I shorter, don't discriminate. Like... I don't discriminate. Oh, okay. Yeah. If I look, if I end up with a WNBA player that's like six nine, cool. You know, that's a new experience for me. Let's uh -huh. let's 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 go on this adventure together. Shit. Fact. You know. And then a female that's four eleven, I don't care. Shit. Pick you up, throw you on the bed. I don't give a shit, you know. Okay, then. I don't discriminate. <laughs> okay. Okay. Like, it don't matter the race? Nah. Height don't matter. Okay. Oh, you said race? Mm-hmm. Nah, race don't matter. Uh, okay. So, when it comes... I don't know why, but white girls don't like me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's because I... don't I, like you? So, I grew up around Chicano culture. Like, around my family, they're Mexican-American. Oh. So I mainly grew up around Latinos, black people, Asians, everything. And then, you know, the little sprinkle of white people because they're everywhere, too. <laughs> yeah. They never really fuck with me like that. Like, the white girls always like the, what do you, what's, what's that shit word? What's the word for it? Like, preppy? Like, the rich white dude? Mm, or like, the ones that wear the boat shoes and shit? Yeah, those motherfuckers. Yeah. I, I know what you're talking about, yeah. Yeah, because even my ghetto in school had those white kids they just didn't live in the bad area they lived on the other part of the way yeah on the other part of town in those nice houses yeah but 
Yeah, they never fuck with me, so I was like, I don't fuck with you either. <laughs> Mike. <laughs> yeah. So you don't. Nah, huh? You don't like white girls? Mm, I, I, I can't really say. Like, I, I feel like I don't just because they don't. So I haven't really got a chance to really try that. You know what I mean? Try that flavor. So you don't attract white girls at all? Not really. No. I mainly, it's funny, I mainly attract other Latinas, you know, especially with my Spanish. And for some reason, like light skinned girls. Oh, okay. I can the see one, that. The ones that got the edges all good and shit, yeah. Curly and shit. Yeah, long okay. curly hair. Yeah, mainly those ones. But then again, <laughs> like those same females also like tall basketball players. And I'm like, fuck, bro. Like, hey, uh -huh. give me some competition. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know, but overall though, like the way people have relationships and vibes and stuff in this generation, how do you feel about it? Do you feel like it's kind of on a downhill, it's uphill? Actually, yeah, that's why I stopped dating because I want something. I feel like it's way different than other people. Other people want. So what makes you say it's different? I'm dating to marry. Like I want to get married. I'll get married right now if I. Yeah. But I don't know. I think people. So, so for uh, no, what 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 race do you prefer? What race? Yeah. I don't want to discriminate. You don't want to discriminate. All right, let's just say whatever the fuck, right? Attractive dude comes up and is like, like just randomly, like, look, you bad as fuck. Let's marry. No. <laughs> <laughs> you said you said you dating to marry. So I mean, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> no. Not like that's that. a lot of people do that. I don't fucking not know why. People, yeah, that's. I mean, but I gotta <laughs> see how you are first. Like, I can't just say, "All right, yeah, let's get married." What if he like explained his red flags and his green flags? Like he just knew. Like he's like, "Look, I could be crazy sometimes, but I could also be a sweetheart. Pick one on a good day, let's marry." I don't know, cause people just be talking. People really just be crazy. Like I should be crazy. I don't know. I don't know. Like, that is true. That. Like I feel like you don't see a person's true self unless you're with them for like a good couple months. Or and or if you live with them too. Like you, yeah. So if you're with them for a good couple months, but living wise, if you live with them for a, a good month, it'll come out. It will. It really will. And, and that's really how you'll know. Like okay, I can marry this fool. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. Exactly. But people don't want to do that. Uh, that uh, commitment these days. People, no, they don't want to come home to one thing, though. No? Like, are you? No, but it seems what it seems like at least when I was in school and shit like that, people like to go fuck around and then go on to the next and the next, and if they got in a relationship, they're gonna have a cheating domino effect because one of them gonna be cheating and the other one wanna cheat. It's a whole bunch. Yeah, of Yeah, take for tat type of thing. It's a it's a mess, you know, but no one wants to fix it. Exactly, and that's why I'm still single because. He <laughs> said, so "That's why. Right. Well, I mean, it is Pennsylvania. Like when I was in Pennsylvania, I didn't really see too much options. <laughs> yeah, you don't, or you just see the same people, or you see the same. Yeah. Like I'm not trying to trying to roast, you know, Pennsylvania or anything, because it's cool. It's a cool place. It's, it's whatever. But as far as options, I didn't really see a lot. Yeah, and the opportunities out here. There's no. Nah. I feel like there's more in Philly. There's more in Philly than Pittsburgh. Yeah. And I fuck with Philly. <laughs> I've never been there, but it's definitely." I, if you go there, go go get a cheesesteak. A legit for the cheesesteak. Cheese steak. A legit one. The real one. The real. Real deal one. None of that Charlie's bullshit. <laughs> Charlie. Bro. Definitely Charlie. Charlie sometimes, but nah. It's not nah. the real one. Yeah, not the real. It ain't. Actually, I never even really had a real one, so it don't taste the same. Philly's, I think, I don't know if you in Conway or what, but Philly's like five hours from there. Yeah. A good five it's, hours. It's like... Yeah, five hours for me too. Just, yeah, just take a trip one day and go try it. You know what I'm saying? And there's more options over there. It's more diverse. Yeah, yeah. That's why I want to move so bad because because of because of diversity. No, or there's like no opportunities here for me. Like, what am I doing here? Type of thing. I, I wouldn't think there's a lot of like modeling and acting opportunities there. And when I think of modeling and acting, I think of like Florida, California, New York. You New know, York. big city type shits. Exactly. So, and it could be like Actually my, network and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And networking, I love networking. Yeah. Hence, That's hence why we, hence why we're here today. Podcasting is the biggest of it. You know, I love I love this shit. <clears throat> that I think this is the first one. This is the first one you've ever been on? 
Wow. Yeah. Well, I appreciate that. I'm, I'm glad to be your first. <laughs> Congratulations. Hell yeah. Okay. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's my first one. But, okay, so you said you don't discriminate none like that. So that's good because I feel like a lot of people do discriminate as far as race. If I'm going to be real, I feel like a lot of people do. Yeah, me too. Like, example, the white girls like white guys. They'll be occasionally, like, time, like, you'll see them with a black dude, and it's like, okay, so she's trying to different flavors. Yeah, that's crazy. It's or, crazy like, with because the, my boyfriend in high school, he was white. Word. Mm -hmm. He He I came up to you and did his little thing or what? Yeah, he had a crush on me for a while, like a while, like probably a couple years. Wow, and yeah. we didn't start dating until like tenth grade, I think it was. Tenth grade, and how long did that one last? Till twelve. Till Damn, after 12, senior yeah. year. Yeah. So you was going for the high school sweetheart shit, but he wasn't. <laughs> but it wasn't that. It wasn't. It wasn't. So it was. Was it like a toxic relationship or like? I mean, I think it's because we was in high school, so everybody was in our business, putting things in his ear, and then, you know. That sounds like high school, the whole that's drama. That's when the tip for tat starts happening. So he cheated. You said I tip for tat, so I know, when I think of tip for tat, I'm like, this person cheated, and then they cheated back. I cheated first. Why would you do that? I don't know. I always do that to that poor man. Probably because I... <laughs> I don't know. Like, I I don't, I wouldn't say regret it, but like, I wouldn't do that again. I can't fault you. It's high school. I know. I know. It's high school. But it's like, dang, you didn't have to do that. Believe it or not, I never cheated though. Good. You laughing, bro. Like, you don't believe me at all. <laughs> yeah. I never cheated. How many girlfriends do you have? How many, like, what, like, like a whole count what? from. Oh. Starting in what? <laughs> no, starting in, starting in what grade are we talking? Oh, when did you start dating? Uh, okay. What you count? <laughs> some people don't count middle school. Some people don't count elementary school. I mean, it is what it is. All right, we'll just do ninth. Ninth. That's when I was single. actually no middle school to to twelve. So back in sixth grade. <laughs> I had I had a couple relationships, but like it's middle school shit, so that's why a lot of people don't count them. But I would I would you know I, I definitely you, you know count them? yeah I count them. like yeah, I, I, feel like, I feel like if you go out of your way to hold hands in the hallways and like you know touch lips and shit yeah <laughs> and you know touch other shit that I you know yeah I would count it. So mm -hmm. six probably like, I would say like a good two or three. Seventh grade was single all throughout seventh grade. Eighth grade, I think I had one. And then freshman year, I moved. No, no, freshman year was my awkward year. So, no, nah, I didn't have none. <laughs> and then I moved to the East Coast, sophomore year. I think I just fucked around a lot, sophomore year. I was the new kid. I was the new kid. You said what? No girlfriends, just, just doing things. Just fleeing. I was a new kid, so they wanted to all be like, oh, uh, man, this uh, They was on you, wasn't they? Yeah. I was in Maryland, too, so not too far from, from Pennsylvania. Mm. So there was that. Junior year, I think I had a couple. Well, not too serious ones. Senior year, I kind of had, like, fleeings from the beginning, and at the end, I was like, I got to stop. <laughs> so I put wow. a stop to it. Yeah, I, I, had to, I had to stop and focus on my own shit, so that's mm. what I did. So I'd say all in all, in total, probably 12, 13 relationships. Yeah, 12 or 13 relationships. Mm -hmm. And then the rest flings. Now, don't ask me that question. Because <laughs> I'm not, no, I'm not proud of it. Like, yeah, cool, I experienced it, but I'm not, I'm not proud of it. Yeah, I mean. It's high school, yeah, but still. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's where I'm at, but still. But still, yeah. yeah. Now, what about you? You got to answer that question now. From six to 12. Did you, do you count middle school? I only count like one person from, cause I only, yeah, I only count one person cause I only touched like one person in middle school. I think. Mm. Hmm. <laughs> Just like carry the two, divide by four. <laughs> God, I'm trying to think, cause we dividing now. <laughs> okay. 
because I was always talking to this boy. Like we was always talking and like we dated for a while in middle school and I don't think I ever talked to anybody else really. Yeah, so y'all didn't go to the same high school? That's crazy because he was like a, like a, he was always in and out of jail, really. Or juvie, that was it. And you went to the naughty motherfuckers. Or I what? started off with that motherfucker. <laughs> So then, what what got you away from the from the from the naughty motherfuckers to <laughs> away from those kind of people? Um, I just couldn't deal with them being away. Like, I, I don't, want that. <laughs> I don't want that. Oh, I don't want that. It's funny because like when I asked that, people were like, "I couldn't stand the toxicity or this or that," but you said I just couldn't stand them being away. <laughs> uh, like, that's I need to see my person. I need to touch him. Okay, so you a physical touch type of lover. Okay, mm-hmm. word. I'm the same way. So that's why long distance never worked for me. Yeah. You ever tried that shit? A l- like a little. No, nah, that shit's hard. That shit is not it. Especially if you're a physical touch person. Like you're like, bro, get your ass over yeah, here. Like, like, yeah, like. Yeah. Tell me, watch a movie. Get your ass over here. You're five hours away. Cool. Get 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 the wheels yeah, moving. Get them moving. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but then they're like, nah, you come. And I'm in the bed like, nah, I don't really want to. (laughs) (laughs) I'm cool right now. (laughs) That means you ain't wonder that bad. You ain't wonder over there that bad. You wouldn't wonder over there that bad? Nah, because I was just too comfortable. Like, why do do I got to go? You know what I'm saying? (laughs) Sounds fucked up, but why, you know? But long long distance was never that. Never for me. No. Yeah, I don't think I could do that. But the thing is, with my school... A lot of them didn't like to date. A lot of them liked to, like I said, fuck around. So that was the move, I guess, in that school. Yeah, mind you. You said yours too? Yeah, definitely. So there was hardly any dating at all, like no relationships, nothing. It was just like. People messing with other people's boyfriends and then you got, yeah. It was just. That's messy. High school was actually, high school was, I hated high school. It was so bad for me. You hated it? I had fun in high school. Not because of that, but just the memories, you know? Yeah, the mem- Yeah, I like cheering and stuff, but the drama, I cry like almost every day in high school. You don't give me cheerleader. You give me volleyball vibes. Volleyball? Yeah. Why's that? Probably because you're tall. I don't fucking know. <laughs> yeah. If I had volleyball in my school, I would. We didn't have that. What sports y'all had? We just had track. Football, basketball. I'm a, I'm a guess this right. All the females like the basketball players. Football. Football. Football was the was the big one. It was the big one. But they must have been good. There yeah. must have been a good football team then, huh? Yeah. Yeah, our football team was trash, so no one fucked with football. But basketball was our best one, so people like to go fuck with basketball. Understandable, because yeah, our basketball team, not really. What sport? What sport you think I did? Basketball. I'm too damn short for basketball. I know. Man. I was just thinking that, but you look like a basketball type of person. I could play, but you know what I'm saying. Like, um, you look like you did soccer. That's racist. No, I didn't do no soccer. That's not racist. Also, okay, let's look at the, the, the demographics here, right? What what do most Latinos play? I don't know. Soccer and baseball. And I'm not I even good at soccer. That. I'm a fake Latino. I'm not even good at soccer, bro. See, I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, I suck at soccer. I'm, like, I'm not foot coordinated like that. I'm going to trip over my shit. No, nah, I did uh, I did wrestling. Oh, I don't, see, we don't have that, so I, I didn't even come to mind, honestly. Y'all didn't have a lot of sports. No, we only had three. That school is messy. It's little. Oh, you had a small graduation class? I had like 40 people. You graduated with 40 people? <laughs> so everybody 40. literally knew everybody? Yes. Why yes. That? I'm trying to get out of here. <laughs> How did you get through high school, bro? <laughs> Fuck. I'm telling you, I had the worst high school experience ever. Yeah, I graduated with a good maybe 200 people. Maybe even more. Maybe a little bit more. The yeah, I don't think it's that many people in our high school now. 
it was not nah, big schools where it's at because like not everybody knows everybody unless you exactly. put yourself out there like that then you know but yeah. a small school fuck that shit you have no choice but everybody knows your business because i'm saying and they know your family and shit like <laughs> if you have like the worst family history they're gonna know about it like nah bro I'm good. yeah Mm-mm. small good. school's not it Mm-mm. no 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 How was so that life? means that means throughout your high school career, like you barely had relationships because you knew all about it. <laughs> yeah, and I barely had friends either. I could not make friends for shit. Wow, you seem chill as fuck, unless they on some dumb shit. They be on some weird shit. I don't know. What kind of, what kind of, I don't what know. kind of weird shit? Like, I don't, they will just like, I had this one friend, she stopped talking to me out of nowhere, like, no what explanation, nothing. She just, blocked me unfriended me and i was just like that must be an east coast thing i had a lot of homegirls do that shit when i was in school too and i'm like what did i do you look <laughs> like, like you could tell like, me something. they're like you flirted with my friend like i don't need, I, I, I know i didn't and that's yeah maybe i did but like you know but how do you nah. know that <laughs> what <laughs> No, nah, like they would get like it'd be like something small like that, but they would never yes. tell me the answer. Like that. Well, I heard sense. you said this and that about me, so. See, they wouldn't even say that. They would. They just wouldn't even talk to me. And I'm like, what the fuck, bro? Like. Yeah. yeah. That's crazy. It's crazy. I I be thinking I'm the problem, but like I feel like I'm cool. Joe. See, like that right there. That's when you gotta be like, nope. You know, what? I'm not the problem. Yeah, I'm, I'm, not, go, I'm not the problem. I'm just go another way. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. But now yeah. I don't really care for friends really that much. Especially if they fake like that. Why? Yeah, and then like I thought I had a friend. I met her on social media and she set me up like the worst way possible you could ever do it. What she do? She tried to sell me. Sell you? Like I will give you her for money? Is she, is, she, is she Latina? She's, she looked like she was like Arab or something. A, like, oh, Arab. Arab? Arab. A, oh. Middle Eastern? Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. She, she probably was like, Latina. <laughs> one of those people that really do that stuff. But, yeah. She tried to sell. That's wild as fuck. Like sex trafficking type of thing. Yes. Yeah. yeah. You know, the cartels really know. I for would that. go with bruises, yeah. scratches, like it was crazy. And this was like over Instagram or TikTok. I knew her for years, like over Facebook and shit like that. Like she would like love my pictures and stuff. Like say you're so pretty. <laughs> <laughs> so pretty, you can make me a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> I need you right now. Yeah, that's a good band in my pocket right now. I'm fucking. <laughs> For real. That's crazy as fuck. Facebook, yeah. I usually use Facebook for like family. That's it. I know, but around here it's so pop. It is like everybody be. Oh, <laughs> that's because so everybody, but... everybody knows everybody. <laughs> you got Facebook? <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. Nah, see, I'm, I'm I'm mainly on Instagram and TikTok. That's my main shit. Probably mostly Instagram because you can see I have more fucking followers on there than TikTok. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Instagram is my main shit. Got a good following on Instagram. TikTok's cool. I just feel like it's very toxic at times too. Oh yeah. Like what's the okay? So you say yeah. What's the worst shit that's happening on TikTok? On a TikTok live experience. Like on my live. Yeah. I don't know. It's just like the rude comments for me. Like rude comments. I don't know. They would say some off the wall stuff like, like, are you transgender or something like that? You know. Oh, those are trolls. Yeah, they just be saying shit. Just to... I know, but like, <laughs> I be looking at myself. Wait, do I look fix, like that? Fix your lashes, babe. I see that one a lot. <laughs> yeah, that's just like the type of stuff I ignore. So. And I'm like, really? What happened? I know, like, um, help me or something. Like the fact that they be saying it to dudes too is kind of funny. Like, okay. <laughs> that's how you know they just be saying anything. Yeah, they just be copying and pasting shit. <laughs> but I wonder what, what I think is. Them. What I think is weird about TikTok is people actually use TikTok. Some of them use it as a dating app. Oh. Yeah. You never co- you never came across that shit? No. 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 Okay. So it'll be like people going live. They'll be doing like the speed dating shit. 
And if that's like successful, both people like each other from the speed day, they'll like continue from there. And people will host that shit, speed day and all this type of shit. What? I've never seen that. That was crazy. I've never seen it personally, but I've heard of it. And like I've heard of people being part of it. And I'm like, bro, like people I know. And I'm like, bro, how'd it go? <laughs> I'm curious. You know, how did it, how did it go? It? Huh? Would you do that? To be honest, no. Nah, because what's the point of speed dating? You're not really like you, you're forcefully having to get to know somebody at a fast pace. <laughs> On live. On live in front of everybody. So that's not going to work out for me, at least. Yeah, for me either. Because I'm, I'm very conversational. You know what I'm saying? I got to take it slow, get to know that type of deal. I'm not going to be like, so what's your name, where you're from? Um, what's your favorite color? Um, yeah. And then answer all that in the span of two minutes or some shit. Like, and I have to base it off of that little ass conversation. <laughs> it's just so weird. Yeah. And then, and then the other thing I think is funny because you were doing it too, the little rate shit. The rates. That's crazy because I just started doing that. Like, I just started doing that. So people fuck with those. Obviously, a lot of dudes fuck with them because they're like, I want to get her opinion, you know? Yeah, like, let me. They were like bugging me. I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> and I ain't gonna lie. I was like, you know, fuck it. Let's see what she got to say, you know? That was like my first one I've ever been on because I used to think like that shit's corny. Like, what are they doing? Oh, like, really? So what made you call me on mine? I was like, you know what? Let me let me give this a shot. Let me give it a shot. Let me see how, how this is. You know, fuck it. You know. Mm -hmm. And if I, I would, you, you remember? I think you gave me like an eight or some shit. Yeah. Yeah. Why is is it not an eight no more? <laughs> I say nine and a half. Nine and a half. Mm -hmm. I'll take that. So uh, yeah, that, that's a that's a what one point five upgrade. Yeah. Hey, what what made you upgrade? <laughs> I'm seeing you right now, right? Oh, yeah, uh, it's my conversational skills, huh? Mm -hmm. All right, next question. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. So anyway, so there was the rate shit, right? And I like I said, I thought it was corny, and I tried it with your shit. But where did that even start? Like, like why did I do that? No, nah, just like if you know in general, like how did well, yeah, okay, yeah, we'll, we'll answer that. How did that start for you? Type of deal? Like, what made you want to be like, fuck it? Um, I think I was like, hmm, this will bring the people in, like, this will really bring them in. So, I tried it out this one day. I'm just like, actually, it was like two days ago. So, I put rates in my bike, <laughs> people started spamming the comments. I'm like, okay, and then my followers start going up on Instagram. So, I'm like, yeah, okay. So yeah, there you go. And it's funny because when people were commenting that shit, you're like, um, if you want to rate, go follow. <laughs> it messes my shit. And then someone else would be like, that's your IG. <laughs> <I'm> like, <"Bro." laughs> then they would get mad at me if I give them like a five or something, but I'm just being honest. Yeah, I think you gave someone like a three or something. I was like, three is wild. And he even yeah. said that he's like, three is th a three is crazy, but I, right. and then he left and I was like, damn. No. And that was before me, so I was like, fuck. Like, I'm the He's only scared. Latino. No, because I was like, I was looking at the people watching. I'm like, I'm the only Latino in here. Like, this is mostly, oh. this is mostly black dudes in here. Like, I'm the only Latin dude in here. So I wonder what's going to happen. Mm. I think I stood out, you know, like, no doubt. But mm -mm. <laughs> I think you did. No doubt. I'm the only non black dude in there, bro. I was like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> <laughs> and then seeing like the dudes you were rating, they all had like, you know, they had what is it? They had the waves, the dress, you the know, dreads, yeah. the twists. And I was like, I have neither of those. She's giving these motherfuckers the eight or nine. Ugh, okay, you know. That's so funny because it was definitely those type of people in my life. You said that was what? That was what yeah. it was definitely those type of people in my life. So so out of out of curiosity though, like what when you look at that type of shit, what do you rate off of? Is it the fit? I, everything. The fit, everything. the hair, the face. The face? Definitely the face. Okay. So, yeah. like, for most of them, what stuck out most was probably the fits, right? Because I feel like I feel like you yeah, look the at the fits. Uh -huh. I like look the at the fits more, more yeah. They, you look at it, they can dress. If you see the dress, you then you, yeah, exactly. So, I'm going to give a tip to all the homies, right? There's this shit called Shine. You probably have shine too. Get up on that motherfucker and get yourself a good fit. Yeah. This is not a promotion or anything. I'm just telling you, I fuck with shine. So. I never heard of that. No. Nah? No. Nah. 
so, you know, so Shine, it's, it's a company, right? They they sell like the the popular clothes, like the trendy clothes, all that type of shit. You can find anything on there. Mm-hmm. And it ships, it's weird. It ships from China <laughs> all the way to the States. And you get it in like a week. Oh, wow. I'm telling you, yeah. I'm putting people on game right now. Get that shit. Get yourself a fit. I thought or maybe would... you could look up Vision's Attire and you can go on their website and get you a nice you fit. Look up what? Vision's Attire. For men? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I just went on Sean. I'm like, I like that and I like that. You know what I'm saying? Hey, yeah. you didn't you didn't you didn't roast me on my fits, so I'm telling you, Sean is the way to go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fellas, listen to him, I guess. And me. Okay. Yeah. Go to what is it? Vision what? Vision. Vision's attire. Vision's attire. I'm gonna yeah. check that out too. I wanna see what they got on there. You, you should for real. Nice yeah. But I yeah. might. But Sean Sean is my go to, so No, I'm gonna check that out too. No, they got a lot of uh, a lot of female shit on there, like a lot of good shit. Well, that was crazy. I never heard that, and I like shopping online. Oh and a lot of and, and a lot of models, especially ones that I'm friends with, they all shop on there too. Oh, so okay. they're actually the ones that put me on it because they're like, they have men shit on there. Uh huh. And I've always seen the ad, and I'm like, all I see is heels next. You know, like I don't. That's crazy. I've never heard of that. Why am I? It's a whole app. I'm telling you, check it out. I will. I will. It's, and I promise, it's not a promotion. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not doing no promoting or nothing like that. It's, they just paying you for this? Is they paying you for this? They probably should have. I feel like I'm selling the fuck out of it right now. <laughs> How much you want to bet? Hell, of people gonna download Shine just because I said some shit. And they better pay you. And I'm talking about rates on TikTok. What, like, bro? These dudes gonna go crazy on that no, shit. For real. For real. She said I'm a five last time. I'm gonna butt my ass up to an eight. Go ahead. <laughs> Do that then. And that'd be funny if they do that. They put on those different fits, and then you still give them like a six, but <laughs> like obviously it's not the fit. They're gonna come back at me like I thought you said I didn't say I didn't tell you shit. You just picked out some dumbass shit. <laughs> no, no. So also right when it comes, because you said you want to get out of of Pittsburgh or Pennsylvania in general. Which one? The state? Both. All yeah. All Both all together. Damn. Oh, so yeah. what what state would you want to move to? I mean, you said Texas, but what else? What's another preference you saying? Like, what are your top five states to move to? So Houston, uh, I'll say probably Miami. Everybody fucking say Miami. Um, Everybody says Miami. No, I don't think I ever thought that far into that. I was just like Houston, like, (laughs) but shut up. Houston, Miami. You see, he shut up. Oh, he did. I don't know. I think this is my top two. Wait, I'm top two. Say. I actually really don't like Florida, honestly. So my, you're crossing out Miami. <laughs> yeah, cross that out. So oh, I, no. mine used to be Miami, and then I hear how wild it gets, and it's not my scene. Well, yeah, yeah, that would be wild. Like, I don't know. Do you like going to clubs, nightclubs, and shit like that? I mean, I don't really do that here. So probably if I was exposed to that, I probably would want to. Okay. Do. Okay. So like if you were traveling and shit, me mm-hmm. personally, yeah. I don't fuck with clubs. At least not the ones here where I'm at. Because people are like typical fucking this generation weird and shit. So they don't really like yeah. talk or like try to vibe. It's mostly like you step in the club, females are going to try to just randomly dance on you without even knowing who the fuck you is. And you'd be a whole serial killer, like, and they'll just dance up on you. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then the dudes act even weirder and fucking try to grab females and pull them by the arm, try to get them to talk to them so bad. Yeah, nah, bro. It's crazy. That's definitely a con out of it. Like, yeah, like, like would you want to be grabbed around and, like, forced? Like, nah, bro. And then they'd be like, what's your name? Or they were like, like, Around here, they will just like hound, like ask you like constantly, "What's your name?" If you try to ignore them, they'll probably follow you a little bit. So, what would make you annoy? What is it? Ignore them. There you go. My English fucking up. Me don't speak English. Los okay. <laughs> <laughs> what makes me ignore them? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. If I don't want to talk to you, I'm not gonna talk to you. Or. Well, no, no, I get that. <laughs> I get that. But, uh, but if you're constantly just 
nagging me. Wait, I'm, saying, I'm saying like if they just come up to you and they're like, hey, what's your name? Like what would uh, what would make you ignore them off of that? Like just off of that first approach. Probably the way they say like if they come up to be like up to me like hey shardy or something like that. Hey shardy. I wouldn't I wouldn't talk to them. Or if if they would come up to me on some cool like you look good, what's your name? Like on some cool they got to have a good vibe to them. Okay. Yeah. Cause, okay, so the thing about Shawty, right? I think that shit's cringy as fuck. Yeah, don't say that. They to listen me. to too many rappers, and they're trying to imitate that. And that's the problem with this generation, bro. Dudes do what rappers are doing, and they're fucking failing. And they're wondering why they're failing. Females are doing what female rappers are doing, and they're wondering why they're not getting a man. I'm not putting you on the spot, I promise. I. <laughs> oh, so you think... No, 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 no. Because you did the face, so I thought you thought I was talking about you. No, I agree. I'm agreeing. Oh, okay, okay. I, yeah. No, I thought you did the face like, fuck, he said, like, no, nah, no, nah, I'm not, I'm not, <laughs> not told you at all. Mm -mm. I'm just saying, like, from what I see from females yeah. here and wherever I go, that's what the fuck. I agree. Yeah. I really do. So, I feel like that's where shit gets fucked up. Yeah, yeah, me too. And there's not, too. A, lot of gentlemen, there's not a lot of gentlemen out there, you know what I'm saying? At all, at all, and the females is just, just as bad too. So, well, why you say that? <laughs> okay, so this is That's a talk okay. topic. Don't, you could put, them, you could put them on the spot. Just don't say names. <laughs> this is a popular topic now. You know how like when females wear like their Halloween costumes, I guess. Yeah. And they show the butt and everything. Do y'all mm -hmm. like that type of stuff? Or do y'all think it's like okay, like you just picking this day to just dress like me personally? Why not? It's eye candy. Okay. Any dude, any do any any straight dude that likes females like that, yeah. Well, That's it was me. like a big discussion. Like females is using this day to show their ass and shit like that. I'm just Could like, y'all should love that. Y'all should want that. Like, oh. I mean, that's definitely that definitely could be a thing. Like, they get these certain costumes to really show that type of stuff off. I believe that, yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. Hundred percent. They're not gonna go get like the fucking sumo costume and think they're gonna show some shit off. Like that's why, that's why I don't see any of them wearing those costumes. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You know what? You know what? I mostly saw fucking Mortal Kombat characters. I think I saw the Chucky, the Chucky, more than I seen anything else. I saw that one too with the skirt a little too high up. Yeah. <laughs> they got creative with that fucking one. They sure. did. They really <laughs> Oh the ru the ruining <laughs> the ruining Disney princesses. I saw one that was dressed up like fucking the princess and the frog. Who but I forgot her name. Tiana. Tiana. Tiana? Tiana? Yeah. The green dress, oh. princess and frog. I never said it. But it was more showing. It wasn't it wasn't yeah. Disney rated. And I'm like, damn. <laughs> I don't know. They get creative with it. How can you make that like, sexy? Ooh. They finna, they finna walk around like that with possibly kids seeing and be like, "That's a princess," mm -hmm. and then they gonna see like some G string or some shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> with some fishnets. <laughs> don't get me started on the fishnets. The mm -hmm. fishnets. I'm not gonna lie. I wore fishnets this, this weekend. Ain't nothing wrong with fishnets, but that is not child friendly. <laughs> That is not child friendly at all. <laughs> yeah. No. But motherfuckers really getting creative with their costumes. Like, not for real. I don't even really get into Halloween like that anymore. I don't even have a costume. Would you dress up though? Like, would you get into that? If I got more into it, yeah. What do you but, mean? Like, how can you get more into it? Like, if I just feel like I'm more in the mood for for Halloween, I'll be like, yeah, let's go to a Halloween party. You funny. Mm -hmm. But this year just didn't stick out to me. I don't know why. It just wasn't it. I still, you know, watch the the horror movies and shit, but nah. You wasn't in the spirit. I went, yeah, I don't feel like I'm in this. It might just be because I'm here. I don't know, but I just don't feel it in me. Okay. I don't know. I haven't decided on shit, so I don't know. What about you? I just wait. I just dressed up this weekend, but I'm done. Like I'm in. A, I was in a Halloween spirit though, a little bit. What'd I didn't you, go all out though for my costumes. What would you dress up as? I was an angel. Okay. And I was a brat star. I fuck with that. 
Did you keep a PG or did you kind of rate it all? Actually, I'm so proud of myself. I kept a PG. I'm proud of you too. Thank you. I'm proud of you too. <laughs> it took everything in me. <laughs> I wouldn't have I wouldn't have been mad if you if you didn't, but you know. <laughs> Congrats. Yeah, yeah, I was on some chill. Brax. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. The ones I see on Instagram, no. Yeah. No. Yeah. I wasn't trying to do too much. And I'm in Pittsburgh, so. She's like, there's nothing in Pittsburgh at all. The same people are supposed to see me probably um tomorrow. <laughs> so, how far yeah. how far are you from Conway? Out of curiosity. I don't even know where that's at. Conway, I just know it's in Pittsburgh. That's it. <laughs> like, there's what the hell is that shit called? Beaver Falls, you know where Beaver Falls is? Okay, you around there? Around there, yeah, around Beaver Falls area. I don't know. Like the steel, the Pittsburgh Steelers Stadium is like a good thirty minutes from where my family lives. Thirty okay. minutes. Okay, yeah, and I live about probably 25, 30 from there too. Damn, you might be in the same fucking area as my family or like some family members. Yeah, right. I don't know. I don't know. But it, it I, I didn't fuck with the cold there. That's all I gotta say. It get cold as fuck. What else didn't you fuck with? I know there's more. Or you didn't really you didn't get to more. <laughs> so I didn't fuck with the cold. It didn't seem too diverse to me. Like I guess where my family lives at, it was like a lot of older people. So I mean it was like whatever. Um that's really it though. I didn't really like go out exploring too much. Yeah. I mean there's really nothing. It's not to explore. Explore. <laughs> I don't not know. That I, I, like know. You, I, mean. I feel like you got your, you know, your spots where it's like, okay, that's a go to spot. Actually, I don't really leave the house at all. No. Mm -mm. Yeah, yeah, you gotta move. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I now see your point. You gotta move. If, you, if, if there's no go to spots where you're like, yeah, let's go check this out, no, nah, no, nah, you gotta move. Exactly. Thank you. That's just yeah. confirmation right there because. I, yeah, I'll confirm it for you. You gotta dip the fuck up back there. <laughs> that is not a place for you. No, 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 no. Mm -mm. Unless I wanna be an old lady or something, just staying in the house all day. Being cold as fuck. Like, no. <laughs> yeah, miserable. Like, nah. Ooh, I'll go look at the lake that's right there. Like, mm -hmm. Or the trees or the. The woods in the back of my yeah no. The trees weren't even trees when I went. They was just they branches. Were the big ass branches. I would love to know what trees you're talking about. Those were big ass. I branches. have a big tree outside of my window right now. Is it a branch now? It's mm -mm. winter time. We got some leaves on there. It's gonna fall off. <laughs> yeah, it when is. it's not good as it is. Yeah, it's going to it's going. It's gonna be a big ass branch. It's gonna look like one of them trees from motherfucking Scooby Doo. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna look like that shit. Definitely when it turns winter, it's just gonna be branches with snow on it. I fucking hate snow. It's weird for me to say me too. where I come from, but it, I, I hate snow. Me too. I'd rather be in a warm tropical area like Puerto Rico. Well, I've never been there. That's actually a place I wanna go so bad. I recommend it. I recommend it. Go to Puerto Rico. It's a vibe. Yeah. I got too lit there. Yeah, maybe Way too fucking lit. Huh? So maybe I do need to make a trip. I think you should. Definitely. Go check uh, out San Juan. You know what I'm saying? San Juan? Am I saying it right? Yeah, yeah, you said it right. Okay. We 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 gonna we gonna get you better at the Spanish too. You want to teach me? Yeah, I'm right here, right? I got you. Oh, right. Wait, right now? No, nah, nah, not right now, but I mean... Like, <laughs> I was about to say, uh... <laughs> All right, yeah. I mean, we, we friends now. Why not? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. You got to teach me English, though. I'm not good at English. Okay, I can teach you that. We could help each other out. Damn, my English is just fine. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, my English is that. Bad. I don't know. Maybe you just need a little. No, when it comes to English, I need to learn like the big words. You know what I'm talking about? Like, like those hard, fucking words. Like, like what's an example? Um, like, I know what intellectual means, but I hate saying it in a sentence. Like and I hate really, like, huh? 
you say you can't say it in a sentence really or like, you I, don't, I, don't, I don't find myself saying it in a sentence and then i hate when people use that in a sentence i'm like oh well, aren't you smart <laughs> or i'm like yeah i don't i don't really do good with the big words but mm -mm. i don't even know how to yeah. spell that shit. wait say the word again intellectual that's it right? intellectual intellectual Intel um. how you spell that <laughs> <laughs> you asked the wrong you asked the wrong person maybe you're right person, you're but younger than you should know <laughs> i'm sorry i don't damn i'm sorry we'll, we'll learn it together okay <laughs> we'll learn these fucking bullshit ass words together Okay. English class. Yes. <laughs> and but Spanish. Spanish. Yeah. Uh, Lo siento. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, do you know what that means? <laughs> Say it again. Lo siento. No. That means I'm sorry. Hmm. This means I'm sorry. That's it. Like you bump into someone. Oh, lo siento. <laughs> Shit up. Now you want to know how to talk shit? Okay. I, I was waiting for you to ask, but I got you. So if you are beefing with somebody and you want to call them bad names, you could be like, you go, you could say like, vas a chingarte. I'm like, go oh, fuck yourself. Ooh. You could say, tu eres una pinche perrita. That's bad. Like, that's like, you a fucking bitch. Like, you're going addle. You know what I'm saying? Or like, if you just straight up say like, Pinche cabroncita, like you're like you like you a you a motherfucker. <laughs> oh my gosh, That's like I'm saying it, and I'm like, but this was said to me like these are fighting words, bro. All right, so like cuss me out in a sentence, like in a couple sentences. You want me to cuss you out in Spanish? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I gotta find a good one. Okay, let me see. Let me see. Hmm. You ready? Look at me just to be, I, got, just I already got mine. You ready? Okay. Termina con una pinche jotita. You, you call me a bitch. No, I didn't say perrita. Oh. Or, or puta. I didn't say none of those. Okay. Wait, say again. Tú, eh, no. Tú mira como una pinche jotita. What did you just say to me? That's basically like if you say that to somebody, you're saying they look fucking gay. <laughs> and that's not against, you know, like I'm not against gay, but that's just that's just the Spanish word for uh -huh. it. You know. I've never yeah. used that word in my life. I think that shit is terrible. But I like, I like when people talk in Spanish. Why are you like that? Like I've always like wonder why people say that to me. Like why do they like that? I don't know. I think it's the accent, the way. Is it the R rules? Is it, is it the dr part? Maybe that's half of it. Borracha. And then you have like at the end of it. <laughs> Seats. We're yeah, we're we're some uh, I guess we're some pretty suave people. Fuck <laughs> Borracha, that means drunk. I'm not drunk, but that's what that means. Okay. I am drinking some liquor though. I'm am I the only one drinking liquor? I actually took a couple shots before I got on here. She said, I'm nervous. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Actually, someone told me to do that, to loosen up they, a little they, bit. They smart. That that helps you. What did you take shots of? Tito's. How many fingers am I holding up? <laughs> How many fingers am I holding up? Five. Not Five? Two. <laughs> no, I'm actually holding up three. No, you was holding up two. No, I was on the three the whole time. No, oh, you was like this. No, see, this finger was behind this finger, and it came out. <laughs> She's like, how the fuck? <laughs> Damn. Wait, you actually did that because that works. Nah, I I, I should have. Huh? I actually too? did that. <laughs> Is that you have the bottle with you right now? Mm-hmm. How much of it? How much of it do you have left? I just build it when before. Okay, I here's what we're gonna do. Here's oh fuck, I can't believe I'm doing this. Here's what we're gonna do to end off the the discussion, right? Okay. 
Fuck me. All right, so <laughs> I'm going to chug it to this line right here. You see, like, the little clear line right there? Mm-hmm. And let me, let me see the bottom. You are going to – wait, how much – you're going to chug it to the letters, the bottom letters right there. Wait, what bottom letters are we talking about? Turn it, turn it, turn it. To the one underneath the logo. That that's the same amount as in here. Uh, you ready? Wait, 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 wait. I can't believe I'm doing this, bro, because this stuff actually kind of burns. <laughs> Don't do the math. Come on, let's do it. <laughs> you about um, a measuring tape. Come on. <laughs> okay. All right, I'll let you count off. You let me count down. Like, be like, three, two, one, go. Yeah, go ahead. Three, two, one. Yeah. Is she gagging? Are you gagging? Did I even do it? Let me see the bottom. No. <laughs> that hurts so much more because I did it. No, but I swear I felt like I was drinking all of that. That's fine. You're good. You're good. You're good. If that was if that was painful, you you're good. You're good. Yo, that hurt. Not the hand on the chest. No, nah, because it was very sweet and then once I stopped, it's like you know how like it slowly goes down your chest until you stop. And then it burns. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not a pu. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not a puker though, so you're not gonna give me a puke. Me either. I'm not. Okay. I would have threw up. Huh? Okay, maybe. <laughs> All right, that was that was dope. I've never done that on a on a podcast before. That shit was dope. Bad idea, that but funny. that was like a bad good idea. Like a good idea. Yeah, you won't feel it after this. So. That's what I'm saying. Like that was a good idea at first, and then it's gonna be a bad idea later. Mm -hmm. Fuck, dude. Why did you let me do that? Mm -hmm. Yolo. I thought we lived multiple times. Mm -hmm. Just once. But like you know, heaven and shit. Just once. But like heaven and shit. Just once. Reincarnation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you gonna be a bird next time. Boy, that'd be dope. I'd be like, let me show you how my how my how I flap my wings. Feel me? <laughs> but um, uh, that about wraps up this episode. That was fun. What'd you think as a first? That was fun. Yeah. I was nervous. Are you nervous still? No. I thought you were, you were kind of like blushing a lot. I want to know what's up with that. Blushing? Not like cheeks blushing, but just, like like just like like smiling like like. I don't know. Yeah, that little smile. Mm. Mm. I don't know what that means, So I do I do have a little challenge at the end of every video. Or at the end of every podcast episode. How so you said you like acting, right? I said I'm getting into acting. Yes I did. <laughs> don't change up now. What you mean? <laughs> no, no, so look, look, it's not like you're gonna act out like a script or nothing like that. So basically I'm gonna pop up like what are, you, what are these fucking like images, like little pop art images, or, like cartoon images? Okay. And you're just gonna act out whatever it, like emotion expression is doing type of deal. Okay. You ready for that? Uh-uh. No? Yeah. Yeah. Yo, where did it get? Oh, it's in here. Okay. So it's gonna pop up on the whole screen. So you ready for the first one? Mm hmm. Wait. I got to do the face that they're doing or something? Yeah, like the face or action that they're doing. <laughs> that one's easy, bro. That's like, that's you right I just now. did it. Wait, I didn't even yeah, see I it. I just did it. Okay. So, yeah, I'm going to pop up the image and I'm gonna, then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to okay. put it away so you can Let's do it. it. Ow. All right, you got that one? All right. <laughs> so All right. <laughs> Here's what we gonna do. You can't laugh. I'm not. I'm not gonna laugh. No, no. Cause no, I'm laughing because like I'll pop up the image and I put it away, and you're already doing it. So just let me know. Okay, so you'll put it up there. 
I'll put it up there. Just let me know. Just be like, okay, I got it, and then I'll I'll put it down, and then you'll do it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. They're actually doing pretty good. Fuck, I fucks with it. Um. Yeah. Okay. Are your hands on your glasses? I I don't mean I don't want you to dirty them up. Okay. I hope I, I hope I didn't dirty up my glasses. My fault. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Damn. I'll clean them. Wait, I didn't. Hear. Okay, wait. Hold up, hold up. You alright? You got it. Okay. My glasses in a way. I mean, you, you could you could you could take them off if you want to. Yeah, that makes you want me to take them off. Is it like this? Uh, I don't even. Yeah. Oh yeah! Wow, this is actually cute. You said that's cute. That's cute. Why you said that's cute? Okay. Why you said that's cute? I don't know. This is cute. I feel like that is a cute like modeling pose. Right. I feel like I feel like models should do that more often. I've never seen that, sir. I never either. I mean, maybe once or two. I don't. I don't even know. But basically, this one, right? Going back to that one. What does that? Does that one mean to you? Put it out there again. <laughs> I don't know. She looks like she don't want to see something for real. Like, like she want to see it, but she don't. You know. Okay. I mean? So do you do you actually do that in real life? What? Like, do you actually do that in real life? Like, you catch yourself doing it? No. Never? Like, for nothing? Actually, yeah. For what? I mean, no. No. Mm -mm. For real? So, like, no horror movies, nothing. I ever made you do that shit? I don't watch horror movies. I don't watch... Unless the I'm with someone. Okay. I don't watch the ones nowadays. That makes sense. Well, They're like very like demonic type. Mm. That's kind of yeah. So I watch like the old school ones, like the slasher ones, Friday the Thirteenth. I don't really watch it. Freddy Krueger. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I watch those. And then what about that one? What does that one mean to? You? Is she? It seemed like. Is that a laptop in front of her? Yeah. At least I think so. Yeah, it looks like she might have read something, seen something. Look like she's crying she, or depressed or something. She's seen some. Like could have got like a, like a like a hate message or some shit, and then just yeah, like, or like a hateful something hateful. So like, have you ever been like on your phone or like any type of electronic device type shit where you like didn't want to see something or like you just felt sad like that and you just ended up doing that or? That's actually crazy because. I usually like turn my phone off because of social media. Like, It'd be I don't know. I think it's it's a mental thing. It help. It it not helps. It fucks with your mental a lot. Definitely, especially if like if you do what I do, right, and you get a lot of hate messages. I don't. I'll get them here and there, and I'll get a lot of cool like supportive shit. But the way people handle it, I think is amazing because sometimes it's like that's a lot. Yeah. Especially like if you're getting repetitive hate messages and shit, because it's like, bro, like, am I even doing shit right? You know what I'm saying? Like, you start questioning yourself. So, the one, the people that definitely go through that, like celebrities and shit. Yeah, for real. That's they got. Yeah. They got. They got. That. They got that. So yeah, but basically, so how how this used to be was that it was emojis, and you know that emoji was like the one covering his face peeking and shit. Mhm. Mm I never understood what the fuck that emoji meant at all and i see people use it for the weirdest and most random posts and i never knew what that meant so i was like okay let me try to see what i can find with this shit and i see like the art doing the same thing so i don't really exactly know exactly what that means what that action means wait say that again i zoned out i'm sorry you zoned out damn the, just the question though but like, i was saying like because the emojis like that i wanted to find like an art like cartoon type thing of it doing this of the people doing the same shit mm -hmm. and i'm trying to understand exactly what that action means or like, what that that, like that emoji that or like just you know hands over the whole face type shit 
I don't know. It gives insecure or something. Insecure. <laughs> <laughs> well, you yeah, definitely. Like, I don't know. I don't you know. De- I don't see you doing that then, because you definitely don't give me insecure about it. You don't. I don't give you insecure about it. No. Nah. Why not? You just don't, and I don't think you got anything to be insecure about. Oh, thanks. But yeah, I got you. But yeah, it's just those things confuse the hell out of me. So it's like I don't know what the fuck they mean. Yeah, I I think I would use this emoji as like like if I would test like guess what or something. I don't know. <laughs> See how confusing that shit is? Like when you really yeah. think about it. Yeah. Yeah. I don't yeah. Know. But it's not something like you see people. I feel like you don't really see people doing that in real life type of shit. No. So I think it's weird how they make cartoons and emojis like that, but you don't see people doing that. In real life. Doing that. Yeah, no, nobody's about to beat the burger. <laughs> like imagine you flirting with somebody, then you end up doing that. Like as a dude, I'm gonna be like, what the hell? Like, <laughs> but you wanna play people? What the fuck you doing? Like, <laughs> Why, but yeah. Don't play hide and seek. I'm actually good at hide and seek, but fuck. Get back to childhood. <laughs> say but, you're good at hide and seek. You said what? You say you're good at hide and seek. I was when I used to play that, yeah. I'm short, man. I used to hide in all the nice spots. Oh, know? yeah. You had it good. The cabinets? The cat. The, the, damn. <laughs> <laughs> she said you used to hide the cabinet above the stove. Had a <laughs> in the microwave. Like. Okay, that that's that's that that's excessive, bro. That's crazy as fuck. Yo, then the microwave, bro. I wouldn't even put myself. Like, I would never put myself in the microwave. Bro. I'd be scared someone gonna turn that bitch on and kick that motherfucker open. Nah, bro. I'm not getting no microwave. <laughs> Yo, that's excessive. Yo, that's funny as hell. But anyways, that wraps up this episode. I appreciate you coming on, making this. This episode happened. Um, Thanks for having me. I was going to have a, this. so this was supposed to be a two episode day, but the first guest, like, I don't even know what the fuck happened. So mm-hmm. I appreciate you taking the time out of your night, taking the time out of your day to come on here and, uh, you know, vibe with me and shit like that. Of course. Yeah. And we friends now, right? Yep. Bestie. Yeah. yeah. Stay in the loop. You're not going to pound me? Oh, I, I was wondering what you was doing. Oh, wait. You on the other side. Never mind. Just, just do a do a devil. Do, do do like a little little air devil. Little more for you. Oh my All goodness. Right. All right. <laughs> exactly. Absolutely. And oh shout out to your social medias every day. Follow me on Instagram at Serenity underscore Nikia. And TikTok at Life with Serenity. Boy, that liquor hitting her. Okay, yeah. <laughs> All right. Appreciate you coming on.